Good afternoon, veterans and residents of Revere. Mark Silvestri, Director of Veteran Services here at the VFW Post in Beachmont, 6712. It's Saturday, April 3rd, and we're here with VA Boston for a vaccination clinic. Uh, as you can see behind me, we are giving veterans of all ages, no matter your healthcare enrollment and spouses and caregivers, uh, vaccinations here today. It's actually the first community clinic in the state of Massachusetts to fall under the Save Lives Act, which was passed by Congress and signed into effect by President Biden, giving the ability for all veterans and spouses to come here and get vaccinated today. So it's a pretty exciting moment. We'll go around and get some uh, people's thoughts and, and input on today's clinic. Hi, we're here with U.S. Army veteran Mr. Nigro and his wife Rita, and they are here today to be vaccinated and um, get the COVID shot. Today's actually the first day, as we said before, that uh, the Save Lives Act takes effect where spouses and caretakers can get the vaccination. How do you feel about that today? Good. It was easy, mostly for her, but I've had my shot and she just got hers, you know what I mean? So it was nice. She did not worry about her now. Yes, and ma'am, how are you feeling today with your shot? Grateful. Very grateful, yeah. It's a long, a long waiting line, on, on even when you call on the phone. We don't have a computer, and so I called a couple of places, and there's it's quite a wait, quite a wait. So this is actually a, a, a huge impact for you, being able to get your vaccine through the VA and, and come here today and get it taken care of. Um, otherwise, you'd be still waiting for yours, correct? I'd be still waiting on the phone. So the VA and Congress just passed the Save Lives Act, and that opened this up for all veterans, spouses, and caregivers. So that's why. So actually, you're one of the first spouses in Massachusetts under the new Save Lives Act to be vaccinated. Here today as well with um, uh, husbands and wives of military members and veterans got vaccinated today. And if you had one piece of advice what would it be for other veterans? Get it, because we both ended up with COVID. We both had COVID, and it's not the best thing to go through. I ended up in the hospital. She didn't, but she has her own other still stuff going on with her. So, so you understand the importance of this vaccine and getting it out there into the community. And if you had one piece of advice, Mrs. Nigro, what would that be? for spouses and veterans maybe having some hesitation considering you actually had COVID-19 and have come out a bit on the positive side of things. What can you say to those that are hesitant in getting the vaccination? I would, I would say don't wait. You never, you never know because it's not over with yet. There are, there are variants that are, that are spreading around and you never know. And people are not always being very careful either. And so I would say go ahead and do it. Excellent. So again, we, um, you both had COVID-19, as you said, uh, in, in today here having the family vaccination yeah. and, and having your spouse be able to get it finally. Mm -hmm. Is this a relief for you? And what can you say to the VA Boston uh, for being able to do this? Thank you for helping uh, me get this for her because it was troubling not to see her worry about when am I going to get my shot? Why has my regular hospital called and said, because I've got all this stuff going on, and they haven't. I mean, it's helped. So finally, the service that you provided to our country is, is finally providing back to you in a major way here. And, and I got to say, this is pretty amazing uh, to be able to put this on in the city of Revere in collaboration with VA Boston and other veteran service offices throughout the communities. Uh, Somerville's here today, people from Winthrop, Brookline, Northampton have showed up to here today to get vaccinated. So it's, it's pretty exciting to have this be able to happen here for the first time in Massachusetts under the Save Lives Act. And I want to wish you both a very happy Easter and a great weekend and thank you for coming in today. Thank you for doing that for me. We're here at the VFW in Beachmont, post 6712, with Somerville Veteran Service Officer Ted Jocks and Ted um, I know we worked together putting this clinic on with the VA, and uh, how did you think it turned out today? 
I think the turnout went well. You know, we just hit over 100 people vaccinated. So I think uh, it's, uh, it's going well. And again, I couldn't say much more about the collaborations with Revere, with the VA Boston healthcare system in order to put this together for our veterans. Yeah, it's actually pretty exciting to see. And uh, the Save Lives Act falls into effect um, Friday, and we were lucky enough to have it here for the clinic today. And um, you had some spouses come from around town and, and out surrounding towns. And uh, how's that impact on your veterans? Have, have they showed some appreciation to that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think that was the most exciting news so far for this because uh, veterans from all over, they were calling, emailing, messaging me on social media, asking about their spouses, about their dependents in order for them to get vaccinated. I think it shows really the how our veterans want to get vaccinated so we can get back to some sort of normal after everybody's done being safe and healthy. So with um, the clinic here today and veterans from all around Massachusetts showing up and spouses and caregivers having the opportunity to be vaccinated today, um, how important is that for us as veteran service officers to have this type of community engagement by the Veterans Administration? I think it's very, very important because, you know, VA, you know, operates on the federal level, but we're in the trenches on the ground. We're speaking with these veterans, we're speaking with their spouses. So whenever they reach out to us, we're the first one, the first hand that they see and uh, to be in communication with. So for them to be out there to get vaccinated, for them to be able to feel like at some point in the near future we'll be returning to normal is going a long way. So, and the help has come, help is here. So the, the, the whole point is to get them vaccinated. Excellent. If you had one message to give the veterans of our communities, what would it be? I would say keep hanging there, stay safe, and whenever you get a chance, please get vaccinated. We're hoping this will show them that many of their colleagues, many of their partners, friends are being vaccinated. So if they can get out there and get vaccinated at different clinics, please take the opportunity to do so. Awesome, and thank you so much. Uh, what service were you in? So U.S. Army, so I left active duty and now I'm, serve, I'm still serving the U.S. Army Reserves. 724 Military Police. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ted. I appreciate you working in collaboration with the city of Revere to get this underway. And uh, I think we pulled off a pretty amazing event today. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we're back again here at the Veterans Vaccination Clinic held on by VA Boston and Post 6712 in Beachmont. We're here now with newly elected state representative, Jeffrey Turco. Uh, representative Turco, how's things going? It's going wonderful, and it's such an honor to, uh, to be invited to be here today with yourself for all the great work you do as a veterans agent for the city of Revere, but also for the veterans and their families that have served our country and our community for so many years, and to see young and old come here and get vaccinated and uh, doing their part to make us all safer is really an honor to be here, and I thank you for that, uh, for the invitation. Thank you, and thank you for coming by. Thank you for coming to say hello to our veterans. Uh, it's important that our communities have this type of uh, community clin clinics and um, if you can give one piece of advice to constituents in the city of Revere, Winthrop and the 19th Suffolk, what would that be? Yeah, I mean, I, I would say to people, do your part. You know, continue to social distance, continue to wash your hands. You know, uh, if, if medically appropriate, get vaccinated and do your part to help uh, reduce the uh, the likelihood that this uh, will continue much longer uh, in this uh, dealing with the, the dangers of the pandemic. So, and I, and I wish everyone a happy and healthy and blessed Easter. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Turco. Have a great day. Thanks for what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. We are here with Grace Conley, Deputy nurse executive yeah. for the VA Boston Healthcare. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So how is it today uh, actually being able to have the Save Lives Act take effect and being able to administer the vaccination to spouses and caregivers? How does that make you feel in your position doing this now for a few months? Yeah, I'm so excited about it. I think that really 
Um, all of us are incredibly energized that we're able to offer this vaccine to more than just our veterans. Our veterans are super important to us, but they exist within family units and they have spouses and partners and caregivers. And we want to make sure all of those people are protected. So the idea that nationally we were able to pass a bill into law to be able to increase that eligibility to a larger population is incredibly, incredibly exciting. Yes, and I, I have to say, when I came in this morning and seen the operation taking place and, and all the team here um, with the all-hands-on-deck approach and the way that this room was completely empty and then set up, but what literally, it seemed like 15, 20 minutes before the room was done. Um, and the bus pulled in and all the stuff came off. It, it was awesome to watch. Um, from day one, when the first clinic opened, to now, how much is that improved in the setup and, and stuff like that? Is it now just one smooth piece? Yeah, you know, each site is very different. Um, so each site we visit ahead of time, we get a lay of the land. I build a template for where each table will go. We've been pretty much doing that from the beginning. I would say we've gotten better at it. Um, so what was a 30 minute setup is now probably half or even less than that. And so we've definitely, as time has gone on, gotten really efficient at being able to do it. Um, another piece we've gotten much more efficient at, which is the parking lot. So we greet at car side and we've been doing that the whole time, but we've gotten just better at handing out numbers and making sure that people know they have a vaccine um, and just shuffling that traffic in and out. We've gotten much more efficient that as well but yeah we we put everything up and we break everything down we even take our trash with us um, because we really want to make sure that it's not a burden on any of our community partners that's great to hear mm -hmm. now um, as we said before your team does some amazing work and I'm sure they don't actually get um, as much credit all the time as is needed so <laughs> if you had one piece of something to say to your team for, for today and in their work that they've put in so far, what would that be? Yeah, that's a great question. I, I think in general, VA Boston, our executive leadership team has been wildly um, supportive and in constant praise of the work that both our mobile clinics have done as well as our on-site clinics led primarily um, by primary care services. And so I, really what I kind of say at the beginning is the same thing. You know, we've really, over the last year have been fighting together um, this common enemy and it's really nice to shift that to a common purpose and be able to know that we are a piece of the end and that we're all partnering together a lot of these people don't work together normally from day-to-day -day operations some of us do and some of us don't and so it really is amazing to see that we are all in mission together and that we are all here to serve our veterans. And it really does fill your cup at the end of the day. We have people who wanna keep coming back and keep um, volunteering because it's just really an amazing experience. You leave feeling so filled, your soul is filled after these events because our veterans and those we vaccinate are so appreciative. And so a huge thank you to everyone that help support this, VA employees, our vet centers, um, and also our community partners like you, Mark. We couldn't do this without our community partners, and that's what really allows us to be able to come and, and you know, really embed ourselves in these communities. And so, uh, just a huge thank you. Thank you doesn't really feel like enough after this past year. Um, I think we all feel like we wish we had a, a, we a weightier, meatier phrase, but thank you. And, and thank you. And last, uh, before we go, the veterans and caregivers and spouses that have some hesitation of the vaccine, what can you give them from a professional standpoint or a caregiver standpoint? What, what is your advice to those veterans and spouses that are hesitant um, in getting vaccinated? Yeah, that's a great question. There is, there are, there's still a lot of hesitancy out there. And I understand that and I want to be respectful of that and respect that every individual has to make the right choice for them. What I can say to you from a personal perspective is that I've received my, my vaccine, um, both doses of Moderna, and I'm still here. And I really was 
incredible to know that I got that second dose. And, you know, I'm at a point now where I can go visit my family that I haven't seen in a year and a half. You know, I can feel more confident that I'm not going to spread this to other people. Um, I think it really is about doing your part in your veteran community as well as your community at large. And I know that it's scary and it feels very new, um, but it is really impactful to you know how we can serve others and we can serve our neighbors and we can serve other veterans um, in this fight against COVID-19. Well, thank you very much for speaking with us. And I have to say thank you and thank your team because this really is an amazing day here for the city of Revere and surrounding communities and the veterans of our community and spouses to be able to have this here in the community where they don't have to travel, they don't have to, you know, on a Saturday, uh, second appointments if needed are, are already made. And, and you, like I said, you guys have an amazing system and I wanna thank you VA Boston and everyone here to, that helped put this together today. Thank you, Mark, I appreciate it. And thank you as well. Okay, so there you have it. We're here, Veterans Clinic in Beachmont, post 6712. And I thank you all for watching and remember, Get vaccinated.